Good morning. It's Thursday, November the 19th, and you're watching Agoracom Small Cap News TV. I'm your host, Paul Kondakos. Agoracom TV is a daily, fast-paced show, bringing the best press releases along with the halts at the open so you can hopefully profit from them and potentially find your next great small cap investment. I've got four great press releases for you this morning, three from the Canadian side, one from the U.S. side, and three halts to report on the second segment. So without any further ado, let's get down to it. But before we get to the news, let me make a quick announcement. December 3rd and 4th, right here on Agoracom, 100% free. The the online gold and commodities conference. We're going to have a lineup of great speakers and we're going to have a lineup of great companies presenting uh, once again December 3rd and 4th right here on Agoracomp Market in your calendars. Now let's get down to news. Big news coming out of Norant Resources. They trade on the TSX Venture under the symbol NOT. They're announcing asset results from completed drill holes on the company's Eagles Nest deposit at the McFalds Lake property also known as the Ring of Fire. Let me give you some of the highlights that we've got. Hole number 70 intersected 23 meters, averaging 4.4% nickel, 2.38% copper, 28 grams per ton of platinum, and 7.95 grams per ton of palladium. Hole number 68 intersected 135 meters, averaging 1.65% nickel, 0.8% copper, and hole number 64 intersected 53 meters of 1.9% nickel, 0.95% copper, 0.6 grams per ton of platinum and 3.85 grams per ton of palladium. So some great numbers coming out of Noron. Congratulations to all Noron shareholders. A little bit about the company. They're focused on significant and multiple high-grade nickel, copper, platinum, palladium, chromite, and vanadium discoveries in the area known as the Ring of Fire. They're last at $1.50. High of 301, low of 43 and a half cents, market cap of 232. Moving on to our next company, Skyline Gold Corporation trades on the venture under the symbol SK. They've got some pretty good numbers coming out this morning. They've intercepted, <coughs> excuse me, 81 meters gra grading, 2.12 grams per ton of gold and 30 grams per ton of silver. They're engaged in the advancement and exploration uh, to development of its precious and base metal properties located in northwestern BC. That's British Columbia. Last at 13, high of 16 cents, low of 2.5 cents, market cap of $10 million. The U.S. side, company is called Sino Green a Land Corporation, trades on the bulletin board on the symbol SLGA, their distributor of high-end fruits and vegetables in China, announcing results for the third quarter, ended September 30th, 2009. We've got some highlights, which include net sales increased 13% to $31 million. Gross profit increased 26% to $3.5 million. Net income excluding non-cash warrant expenses. Uh, they've got a bunch of numbers here saying that net income would have been $1.9 million had it not been for some expenses and uh, beneficial conversion features. Take a look at the press release if you're interested. $1.3 million of cash and no long-term debt. Uh, and we've also got cash and cash equivalents of $1.3 million. Shareholders equity, $22 million. Companies last at 12 cents, high of 30 cents, low of 4 cents, market cap of just under $13 million. Now, moving on to the halts, I've got three for you. First one, Fire River Gold Corp. The name sounds familiar because we just announced them. They're the newest Agoracom client, uh, the newest member of the Agoracom family, trades on the venture under the symbol FAU. They've been halted pending news. Keep your eye out for that one. We've got Destiny Resources, trades on the venture under the symbol DSC. Halted pending news. And finally, we've got Corex Gold Corporation trades on the venture under the symbol CGE. Halted pending news. That's a wrap for today's show. Thanks for joining us. I'm your host, Paul Kandakos. Make sure to join us again tomorrow. We've got more great press releases and halts at the open for you.